You're watching Cars.TV. Hi, I'm Kevin Zinger, founder of Zinger Vehicles. We're here today in Pebble Beach at the Sunset Center for the debut of the Zinger 21C VMAX. Having a lot of fun. I'm 63 now, but this is a dream I've had since I was a little child reading Hot Rod magazine in the dead of a Cleveland winter saying, wouldn't it be cool to actually design and build the things of your dreams? This is the debut vehicle of our new brand, Zinger Vehicles. My son, Lucas Zinger, of whom I'm super proud, is my partner and co-founder of that company. And the idea was to take the technology that we've invented to digitally design and manufacture vehicles and to, with our very first vehicle, show that we could take on the hyper-competitive, hyper-car industry and not only set all of the track records against all competition, but also set all of the acceleration records like zero to 60 or the quarter mile and all of the stopping and starting records. And to do that really, you need two body versions. One that's a high downforce version with the wing and the splitters that allows you to really have compression of the vehicle body on the track so that you can corner super well. And then you need a more slippery aero body with less drag in order to set those acceleration and top speed and stopping and starting records. Hence the 21C that has the three and a half to one lift to drag and hunts those track records. And then the slippery but elegant VMAX of today that sets the standard for all of those acceleration and braking records. This is humans looking at what would be a very cool product, creating the design space. Say it's a car that we want to have a driver and a passenger, say in a jet fighter pilot, co-pilot style. And you know, we're gonna have it as a strong hybrid. Then in the space around that powertrain packaging, people packaging, you're then having a machine using high performance computing and AI generate within the design space against the engineering requirements, things like crash or stiffness or durability, literally a perfect structure in three dimensions. It's called bi-directional evolutionary structures optimization adding and subtracting material against many millions of calculations being quickly made by a machine and AI. And in the end, then against those requirements, creating a perfect structure that no one could engineer. And people go, but what do you mean? It looks very biologic. And you go, well, it's not intended to look anything. It's intended just to be super material and energy efficient. But if we even look out here and look at this garden, Obviously, you look at the flora and fauna, it has really interesting, varied shapes because nature over eons is competing trial and error for material and energy, and it's creating super efficient structure. We're just compressing that from eons to microseconds and forms following function, and hence, these things look very close to what evolution would create because evolution is really seriously competing for that material and energy. 